Hi, and welcome to another Tech Talk hosted by Frontier Precision. In this session, we will get you started with the new Minnesota VRS Pivot software in Trimble Access. To follow along with this video, you will need a Trimble data collector with Trimble Access, a Trimble receiver, as well as some sort of internet connection source for testing. We will begin by creating a new VRS survey style and GNSS contact, which will contain a slightly different IP address associated to the new Pivot software. So we'll start by going into settings, and then survey styles, and then you'll see here that I already have an existing VRS survey style for the older software. Um, to make things easy, I'm going to copy that survey style. So if you already have a VRS survey style with the, for the old software or the old IP address, we'll simply just highlight that survey style and hit the copy button. You can certainly tap on the new button and configure your survey style on your own. We do have an existing tech talk which goes through the process of creating a new VRS survey style. You can find this on our tech talks webpage. Um, but I'm going to simply copy this and show you a couple items that we need to verify in order to get going. So what I'm going to do here is type in a style name. I'm going to call it Mincores VRS New. So now I have a copied VRS survey style from the old software. And I'm going to go into the, the new one. I'm going to go into Rover Options and just verify that the broadcast format is set to VRS CMR. And my antenna type is consistent with the antenna that I'm using. I'll hit Accept. And then I'm going to go into Rover Data Link. I'm going to make sure that my type is set to Internet Connection and my GNSS contact here is still set to my old GNSS contact. So this is the important part of this video. We want to hit the right arrow and create a new GNSS contact. Again, we can hit new or we can copy the old. So I'm going to copy the old one, which will save all of my username and password, and then we just type in a, uh, a different IP address. So I'm going to call this new GNSS contact uh, Mincores VRS New. I'm going to hit the uh, page down and then you'll see that my Ntrip username and Ntrip password are saved from the copy. The IP address is the only thing that we need to change on this page if you did copy it over. If you didn't copy it over, uh, simply fill out your username, password, IP address, and IP port. Um, noting that the only change here from the old uh, software is the number 2 after MinCores in the IP address. And then we can hit enter and then store. And then now we have two GNSS contacts, one for the old and one for the new software. I'm going to highlight the new, hit accept, and then now in the Rover data link screen I have the new uh, GNSS contact for my GNSS contact field. I'll hit accept and then I'm going to store my survey style. And then now I can go into uh, general survey or roads and um, create a job. I can create a job just to test out. I called it pivot which is the name of the new software. I'll hit measure. I'm going to choose my new VR, uh, VRS survey style. I'll hit measure points to start the survey. It'll detect uh, data sources. Um, and then choosing my mount point from here. This will open up the connection and start the survey using the new uh, Mincores VRS uh, so software. Waiting for information from the base. And then we should be able to measure points from here. In summary, we have covered how to create a new survey style and GNSS contact that will be used for the new VRS Pivot software from now on. It is recommended to hold on to your old VRS survey style and GNSS contact utilizing the old VRS software until the end of the 2016 year. If you have any questions or comments, you can send those to our survey support email indicated on the screen. We hope you found this video beneficial and will join us again next time. Thanks and have a great day.